it's Matt here with another Airsoft gun review and today we're reviewing the Airsoft Tactical Wolverine Pistol. This gun is full metal which is really nice and also makes it a little heavier and a little harder to control but that's the good part about it because it looks like it's literally a real gun if you take off this part. There are so many cool features about this gun so first I'm going to get into the technical parts of this gun. So as you can see it comes in packages like this. I got it for $50 at Walmart. It has 600 feet per second and pretty much works with any kind of ammo. So I'll just give you a look at the package right now. This shows right here the magazine. It's a 6 millimeter gun. It's the back. So it's uh, semi-automatic. There's no blowback, which means the air doesn't blow back in your face. Uh, full metal, CO2 powered, which means you have to get this. doesn't come with it, but they're separate. They're little CO2 cartridges. Um, they're 50, it comes 15 in one pack. Uh, they look like this, they're very light. What happens is a pin pops on the top right there and releases the air every now and then when you want to shoot. Which means you can shoot it, keep pulling the trigger instead of having to cock it. Keep in mind you cannot even pull this back, which is a pretty nice feature. It comes with a laser. This laser is real and it will hurt your eyes. So don't look into the laser and don't point it at anybody. So basically, there are many cool features about this gun. It comes with little tools here and there. Um, so for one thing, there's a little baggie with different tools. Uh, it comes with the batteries to take apart the put to operate the laser. So basically, uh, you unscrew this. There's two little screws right here, and you use this. Uh, you use this piece right here, tool right here, to unscrew. So basically, all you do is you unscrew it. Once you unscrew it, basically you take it off, unscrew this back cap right here, put the four batteries in after you take off the plastic, and then <laughs> put it back on. Take off the plastic. <laughs> take off the plastic, and then you can put it back on. So basically, it's connected with the wire, so you can press, basically what happens is you press this button right here, and the laser is come, it comes out. Uh, so then screw it back on. This pin right here is to clear a jam. Just put this in here, jiggle it around. You have a nice, nice iron sight right here. Two lines up with that one, so it's very comfortable grip. It's also a rubber grip, which is nice. Um, these two right here don't really do anything. This is the safety. When it's up, you can't pull the trigger. When it's down, you can pull the trigger. Um, they, uh, you have the orange typically to make sure to let people know that it, it's obviously not real. Um, the cool thing about this gun is that the, uh, the uh, magazine is actually metal. It's real metal. If you don't believe me, look. Okay? It's real metal. Um, it's not plastic. Here's the clip release right here, or magazine release right here. Press that button right here. And it just kind of falls out. So when it falls out, you have to, you, the, what you do to put the cartridges, what you do to put the car, what, what, what you do to put the cartridge in is you take this big black dildo, this big black tool right here and put it in here and you have to unscrew it. Don't unscrew it. There's a live cartridge in there, isn't there? It's too open for me. Okay. So once you unscrew it, oh, fuck. the other end. So you'll see this little cap come off. This is basically where the cartridge goes. This is an empty cartridge, and you can tell if it's empty or not by this little pin right here on the top. There should be a black hole in it if it's empty. If it's not empty, then it'll look like a typical, normal cartridge with no hole. The old one has a hole, the new one doesn't. So, I'm not going to put a new one in for just the video. I'm going to just put the old one in, but you can tell the heavy, full one is lighter or heavier. All you do is put the cartridge in like that. Take your cap and you want to screw it back on. And you want to screw it back on. So basically, they, on the magazine, there's also another 
little place you can put something. So this is um, the top where you put in the ammo. So basically you have to pull this spring down and then put in 15 bullets. You, there's no extra way that this little screw cap right here um, that operates a spring. You can take out the spring and replace it if you have to. But you still have to take your bullets, your ammo, and you have to put it in one by one. It holds 15. So pull this down, put the bullet in, and that's it. So basically, um, after you have this all loaded, what happens inside the gun is that when you pull the trigger, a pin cups in to this piece right here, and this basically operates the whole CO2 part of the air and compression and all that stuff, and uh, thrusts the bullet out forward. So, zoom in, you don't have to cock it, and basically attach the laser. You can attach the laser with the strap that comes with it, just put it around the grip right here, so you kind of have to have something holding the gun and use two hands for this. So after you put this on, you can attach the actual laser to the handle. So I'll put it on right now. So as you can see, now once it's, at once it's attached, you can put the laser inside. So you can have the laser right there. And with one, like your thumb or something or your other hand, press the laser while you shoot. So I'm not gonna put it on right now because I don't need it on this minute. But after you have all that done, you can keep pulling the trigger and you can shoot whatever you want. So basically, that's the whole part of the review part of the gun. And if you wanna check out the shooting range part, stay tuned for one second. We're gonna go set up the targets and range down at the beach. We're gonna go check out what we can do. Hey guys, we're at the shooting range right now. I got my target set up over there. So I got my magazine ready, where I can roll. Everything's all set. Let's get started. So, we got pretty good target uh, shots. Got some mostly to the left right here in the middle. Got a couple random ones. So let's see what else we can do. We gotta set up a new target and I'll be right back. Okay guys, see what else we can do. So we got a bullseye, we got some other ones too, directly in the middle. Um, got some mostly over here, a couple in the corners. So let's see, I'm gonna set one more target, reload one more time, and then that's gonna be it. So, one thing I wanted to show you guys is that when you put ammo inside, the hole is kind of towards the front. So if you put it back too far, it'll kind of get stuck. So you can't have it tipped back like that. You kind of have to tilt it forward a little bit like that. So it just falls right inside the hole. I'm gonna do it from distance now. Two more, let's make them count. All right, let's go take a look at what we did. So, we got some in the green, blue, and the black. We got a couple all over the place. Two right near the bullseye, which is good. Some around the white rings, some around the blue, green, and black, and then one out here, and one up here. 
So, thanks everybody for watching today's special airsoft gun review. If y'all enjoyed, be sure to click like, subscribe to see more videos, favorite, and that's gonna be all for today, you guys. Thanks everybody for watching, and have a nice day.